Tali Bennett is Israel's Minister of Education, and he joins us now live from Jerusalem. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. What's your reaction to Secretary of State Kerry's argument about the necessary way forward in his view? Well, uh, Secretary Kerry's speech is not unlike uh, the Obama policy. It's divorced from reality, but with good intentions. Uh, it's left the Middle East in flames, a genocide in Syria, Iraq falling apart, Iran on a path to a nuclear weapon, and abandoning the only free democracy in the Middle East, Israel. It's wrong, it's immoral, but we will prevail. We're strong, we're fighting against radical Islamic terror in the midst of the Middle East, and we expect it backwind, uh, and we hope to get some. So let's focus on the settlements issue, since it is what Secretary Kerry was talking about, and it was the focus of the United Nations Security Council resolution on Friday. What is the justification for building settlements deep into the West Bank area, not the part of the West Bank or East Jerusalem that is likely to become part of Israel in any sort of two-state solution after a negotiated peace, but the parts that will not uh, become part of Israel if there ever is a two-state solution. What's the justification for building those settlements? There is already a Palestinian state formed in 2005 in Gaza, and they turned it into a terror state. You know, we pulled back to the 67 lines, pulled out all the Jews, handed it over to Abu Mazen, and they turned it into a terror state. Anyone in their right mind cannot imagine forming another one right here in Jerusalem, our eternal capital. That would be insane. So I oppose forming a second Palestinian state in what you call the West Bank, i.e. Judea and Samaria. Judea and Samaria has been a Jewish state for roughly 3,300 years, uh, well before, you know, the first Americans reached uh, the new continent of America, and we're going to stay here uh, forever. Secretary of State Kerry today saying uh, that in that one-state solution that you are suggesting, let's remove Gaza from the equation, uh, Israel can become Israel can be Jewish or Israel can be democratic, but it cannot be both. How do you solve that problem of the fact that there will be millions of Palestinians that I don't presume you would be giving voting rights or travel rights to to the extent that they would seek? Of course they would have voting rights. They would have voting rights for their entity. They can exercise it in the Palestinian state in Gaza or in the autonomy in the West Bank. Uh, that's up to them. They have voting rights like any other person in the world. I uh, profoundly disagree with this, this stark vision of Secretary Kerry. We're the ones fighting, out there fighting for the defense of the free world. And within smaller Israel, it's quite the contrary. We have Supreme Court judges that are Arabs. We have members of our parliament that are Arabs. So the, the only free, free democracy in the Middle East is in fact Israel. And sort of abandoning Israel while we're out there fighting ISIS and Hamas and Hezbollah is simply wrong. Your government says that Israel has, quote, ironclad information proving that the Obama administration orchestrated the UN Security Council vote and that you will turn it over to the Trump administration. Uh, that seems odd. Why not just present it to the public? Uh, it's a rather stark charge to make, especially considering the Obama administration disputes it. Well, we know that it's a, a premeditated plan, but you know, the, the bonds between the American people who seek freedom and democracy and the Israeli people, which are in the midst of the toughest area in the world, go so deep, way beyond one administration or another. Um, it's unfortunate that uh, Kerry and Obama have decided to go down this track uh, both vis-a-vis uh, -vis Iran and the Security Council. We're I, out fighting to prevent terror attacks in Orlando, in Brussels, in London, because we're the ones. I, I've been fighting Hezbollah and Hamas for, you know, over 25 years. My, myself, I've lost friends. We want peace. But the only way to achieve peace in the Middle East is by being strong and fighting the bad and evil forces of Iran and ISIS. And that's exactly what we're doing. Minister Bennett, uh, the vote in the UN Security Council resolution, as you know, was 14 uh, in favor of the anti-settlements resolution, one abstention in the United States. Now your government, the Netanyahu government, is taking steps to curb diplomatic relations with countries that include the UK, France, Spain, Ukraine, and on and on, New Zealand, uh, Egypt. 
Are, is Israel not isolating itself from the rest of the world by not taking the message that people think that these settlements are a true impediment to peace? You just said twice the term settlements. You know, we're not occupying any land. One cannot occupy his own home. This city behind me is Jerusalem. It's been our capital for 3,000 years, way before you the idea London that, was the British capital, and way before Washington, D.C. was the American capital. These are not settlements. We've got about 650,000 Israelis living in Jerusalem, in East Jerusalem, and Judea and Samaria. Big cities. You know, one might imagine a small tent on a hill. That's not what we're talking about. We've been here for thousands of years. We're staying here. We're going to live side by side in peace with the Arabs here but not by forcing our hand and not by a, a Security Council decision that's giving backwind to the worst terrorists in the world because they say here the only free democracy but, that's fighting Bennett, terror is being thrown under the bus. You're proving my point because you're even disputing the idea that it's occupied territory or settlements which the entire international community with the exception of the Netanyahu government thinks it is. But I, absolutely, I'm disputing that. How long have you have Americans been living in America? How long have Americans been living hundred, in America? That's correct. A few hundred years. How long have Jews been living in the Holy Land? Four thousand years. So how dare anyone call the land of Israel occupied territory? How dare anyone? This is a, has been our home forever and will be our home forever. Yes, there's Arabs here. Some of them are, are in our uh, parliament, and we have freedom that no other Middle East uh, country has, and we're proud of it. We will prevail even when we're trying to be forced down a bad path. Well, I think a lot of people who live on the West Bank would dispute the, ocean that they, the notion that they have freedom. But, Minister Bennett, we thank you for your time. Happy Hanukkah. We appreciate it.